Boom! Welcome back to another episode of Ballroom Mastery Routine Episodes. I'm here with Brittany. Hello, Brittany. Everyone. Ready to dance? I'm ready. Oh yeah, we've got some samba for you today. Sambamba. We're going to be dancing the vaulters in the basic movements, right? We're going to focus on really strong basics, getting that to speed. And then in the development, I want to show you the developed promenade to counter promenade runs back into the promenade runs. A really cool way of sprucing up and spicing up your springtime samba, right? So here we go, let's hit it straight away. All right, so the figures for the basic samba. Commence in shadow position, so we do two traveling Botafogos. So first one, then the second one. And now, four traveling vaulters to the left, and then four to the right, curving slightly, dug to wall. Now from here, gentlemen, are gonna flick ball change, a little foot change. Ladies are gonna do a spot vaulter to the right to face their partner. Now we'll whisk to the right, and then four traveling vaulters, or you can do eight to finish off. Let's commence with the Samba basic timing. So, and five, six, seven, eight. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four. A uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one. A two, a three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, a one, a two, a three, a four. Bigger names for the advanced samba. So we go. And four developed promenade to counter promenade runs. So first one, second one, third one, and then the fourth one. Now, here, ladies are gonna do a little spiral over the uh, left foot, and then they're gonna do a turning three step to face the men. Gentlemen, you get to show your Ricky Martin side here and you can dance whatever you feel. Just make sure you create a run to end on the left foot at the end. So ladies create their little turn. They do their turning three step. We can close or gentlemen, you can get your ha, Jesus on, right? Or you can do a little run forward. Whatever happens, you gotta be here to then create the promenade run on the next step. So then we get our promenade run, boom. And then a counter promenade run. And then one more promenade run. At the end of that, we create our natural syncopated pivots. And I like to finish this with a promenade run. It's got a lovely feeling. And then into our drop high cross or a lunge and a high cross. And then a Botafogo to promenade. So, uh, the timing for the advanced samba. And eight, one and two, three and four. Five and six, seven and eight. Now ladies do their turn, we go one, two, she goes one and a two. And then gentlemen, into the promenade run, we're gonna catch up and go three and a four as she does the promenade run. So three and a four. Now, promenade run five, our six, seven and eight. Now, one and a two, three and four. Four, five, 
a six, seven, a eight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this week's Samba Basic and Advanced. What do you think? How do you feel? It isn't in, as important how you feel as how you look. Make sure you've got holes in your stockings, extremely sore legs, and a big smile on your face because you're improving. Please play with the Advanced Samba. It's really fun to develop, to put your own little flair and style on it. Uh, remember, when you do your syncopated pivots together, keep a very small base. The basic rule is the faster the turn, the smaller the base being the feet. So the wider your steps are, the worse that will work and to go around a fixed point. So between the two of you, as you're creating a turn, if Brittany steps in between my feet on the right foot, on the ball of the foot, when I go back on the ball of my left foot, I wanna be creating a very strong turn around my left foot and taking my left side around to my right foot. Right, so each time being able to create a movement. Now, at the end, gentlemen, you wanna create an impetus through your right side to go into the promenade. So a bit of a rising action happens in promenade runs. It is not a bounce rhythm. It's not a bounce rhythm. Please don't be bouncing on runs, okay? It's a different type of rise and fall than you will find anywhere else in your samba. So pay attention to the development there. When you're focusing on your voltas and your botafogos and your basic rhythms, the bounce rhythm has a bounce through the knee, foot and ankle. Okay, so pay attention to the two. It's why samba is so intricate. There's eight rhythms to master and play with and they change. And in anyone's choreography, you're gonna see this play out. So pay attention to the timing. Note when we said and counts versus uh, saying ah counts. So for anyone who wants to write below, let me know what an and equals musically in terms of dancing and also an ah count. And what does that mean from a musical standpoint? So write that below, subscribe above. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Brittany, Thank you. right? Enjoy your recovery, enjoy your samba. We'll see you in the next episode.